Harris. Chicago Public Schools is apologizing tonight to a Chicago mother and her two young sons. The five and six year old boys weren't allowed to eat breakfast all because they were wearing these shoes. Today, CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker sat down with the family. The Nicholson brothers only grab a quick snack before heading to class because they qualify for a full free breakfast at Adam Powell Grade School. It's something the five and six year old boys look forward to every day, and it hurt when they were recently turned away. We didn't have breakfast because we were wearing the wrong shoes. They were wearing these black shoes. The boys told their mom that the assistant principal, Angela Piegler, didn't let them eat because their shoes didn't fit the school uniform. It was a black gym shoe, not a black dress shoe. I feel sad because we, because we are always supposed to have breakfast. I was really hungry. They went to class hungry. It hasn't been a problem all this time. Now all of a sudden, they can't have breakfast because of their shoes. Edwards says the boys have been wearing the shoes all year, and administrators never complained. She's confused. The boy's great aunt is livid. I don't care if they had on orange shoes. I'm not going to feed you because you have on the wrong shoes. Shoes? No. No. So I'm going to ask okay. you to leave. We tried to ask both the assistant principal and the principal to explain what happened. Why would you not give them breakfast? However, a manager at the CPS regional office was willing to talk. It was not her intent for them not to eat that morning. Earl says Piegla told him that she thought the boys had returned to breakfast after she talked to them, but he acknowledged her actions were wrong. Regardless of what shoes they were wearing, obviously the children shouldn't have been allowed the opportunity to return to breakfast. Late this afternoon, the principal and the assistant principal apologized to the boys and their mother. They went on to explain that they were reacting to an increase in students violating the school dress code. The principal even offered to buy the boys new black dress shoes. But here's the kicker. The school's dress code does not say the shoes have to be black dress shoes. The boy's mother says the principal obviously needs to make the rules a little clear. And those are understated shoes to begin with, and they were wearing them all year. All year. And so this is the first time they noticed that they weren't exactly dress shoes. They had been wearing them. This is the first time they, they at least said something. Uh, they, the mother says she never got a notice. She never got a phone call. Mm. No complaints. And then all of a sudden today or a few days ago, it's an issue. they can't eat. Yeah. All right. Dorothy, thanks.